Which side of the bed do you want? You're sleeping on the sofa, Mr. Powers. With me, I hope. Shall we shag now or shall we shag later? Oh my god, dude, shut up. <laughs> May God be with you all. Do I make you horny, baby? Don't answer that question. I don't. Hello, internet. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapilla across all my social platforms. And today, we're watching Austin Powers. There's another bit to it that I cannot remember what it says. I've never seen these movies before, the Austin Powers movies, mainly because I'm not really a spy sort of espionage type film guy. I'm not really a big fan of that genre. But there's one thing that I've known about for these movies ever since I was in high school, and that was, do I make you horny, baby? Given the context that it's high school is probably not the best place to be hearing about that, but it is what it is. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how you going? I do videos here. And I like them. I, I, I like them. I don't know if you do. I do. Leave a comment today actually saying what your spy name would be. It can be as bongous and crazy as possible. Mine would be... Lieutenant Widerbed. Lieutenant Widerbed. Don't slow down that last word. If Austin Powers dies, does that mean his power went out? Austin Powers down. That's terrible. I have gathered here before me the world's deadliest assassins. Each of you has failed to kill Austin Powers. That makes me angry. <laughs> that guy with a cigarette in his hook. People die! <laughs> oh no, not Jurgen. A character I... Oh no, not Generalismo. I don't know what that was. Oh shit, he's gone for a whole squad wipe. Oh, I used to have a cat that used to look like that. And then it died. I assume it died. It got taken by someone, I think. And then that was like 10 years ago. It's definitely not alive now. Rest in peace, Snowball. Yeah! Oh shit, okay. He really is just a goofy guy. What is that title card? Oh, he gets so much pussy all the time. He gets the ladies. Work with me, people. All right. Show me love. Great. Oh, behave. He even has the power to jump into freeze frame? That's the coolest spy ever. This is just footage of Harry Styles fans. Yeah, that's literally the One Direction fandom right there. <laughs> What is happening? We're only like three minutes in. I have no idea what's going on. Am I in a coma? This feels like a fever dream. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Why do I know that guy's voice? Oh. Yeah, speak again. Hello, Austin. I'm Basil Exposition with British Intelligence. Basil Exposition. <laughs> we'll be there. Who do you voice? I know that voice. Freaks me out. Yeah. That's the cat in the hat. That's who he is. It was when he went, yeah! I was like, that's cat in the hat. Whoa, there's a floating head. We've got to look for Dr. Evil. I've got an idea. But first, dancing. That ain't no woman. It's a man, man. <gasps> oh my god! Look out! He's got a knife! Oh, the fucking crowd gasp. Where's Dr. Evil, huh? Dr. Evil? That's the bad guy's name is Dr. Evil. It's definitely a parody, isn't it? I've got you now, Dr. Evil. Not this time. I'm too evil. <laughs> See you in the future, Mr. Powers. Oh my god. He's freezing himself. All right, you missed the prime opportunity to go freeze. That looks like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Big boy. Oh, uh, you're not wrong about that. That is a ginormous boy. Evil escaped and had himself cryogenically frozen. Into weird CGI space. Oh, I don't like that. That was a weird cat. Yes? You gotta have a joke that says big boy's coming into orbit, please. What are you saying, son? Well, it appears to be in the shape of a big boy. <laughs> oh my God. The big boy's gone. The big boy's gone. <laughs> and, uh, Phillips, eat my fish. Not too much. I'm off to London, England. Why'd you say it like that? I'm off to London, England. 
Powers volunteered to have himself frozen in case Dr. Evil should ever return. That's a stupid decision if Dr. Evil never returned. He's just frozen himself forever. Oh, why'd that give me flashbacks to fucking Fry's dog? And now I'm sad. Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Shut up. A legend in his own time. He's got the caveman look down, Pat, that's for sure. Chest hair and the face that screams, I might be a sexual predator. Stage three. Ew! He looks like a live-action Simpsons character. <coughs> oh my god, that's a fucking deep fryer. Shave that off! Please, get rid of that! It looks like the Batman symbol. Please, we gotta remove that carpet from his chest. That is disgusting to look at. Evacuation beginning. Let me guess, this piss is gonna go on for about 30 seconds. That's what's coming out the front. I don't want to know what comes out the back. As Shrek away says, better out than in. <laughs> Evacuation come. Evacuation come? Oh god, we're doing a whole different pipe. Come. Come. We've all been there. Evacuation come. Why are you still pissing? He's actually cosplaying as the cat in the hat. He's got the hair going on his chest already. Vanessa is one of our top agents. I'm suddenly an FBI agent. My god, Vanessa's got a fabulous body. Oh, I thought he was gonna say fat ass. Hope I didn't say that out loud just now. Me with my intrusive thoughts. Austin Powers. Danger's my middle name. <laughs> Austin Danger Powers. If Austin Powers was rebooted today, his middle name would be Super for Austin Superpowers. Good one, Alex. Penis enlarger pump. That's not mine. It is yours, you seedy bastard. I'm telling you, baby, that's not mine. <laughs> this is fucking stupid, but I like it. It's my sort of humor. This sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. One book, <laughs> Swedish made penis in large. Okay, we get it. The penis pump belongs to Austin Powers. I look forward to working with you, but do me a favor and stop calling me baby. Yeah, Austin, you've got to behave. My jumbo jet, smashing baby. Are you sure they didn't cryogenically freeze a 10 year old? Because Austin Powers seems like a 10 year old. Mr. Powers. Hey, keep it for yourself, mate. Second hand. Oh, it's the Beatles. I've always wanted to see the Beatles. Welcome to my underground lair. It's been 30 years, but I'm back. That's so funny to me. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. It's been 30 years, but I'm back. <laughs> I love just dry, stupid humor like that. I will gobble that up. My design was perfect. Is that Will Ferrell? Mr. Bigglesworth. He lost all his fur. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter anymore. He's dead. Honestly? I'd actually be a little bit feral if I got burnt like that. Let's get down to business. Oh. Oh. There's going to be a lot of humor like that in, in this, isn't there? A lot of interruption humor. Still alive, only I'm very badly burnt. Yeah, it's Will Ferrell. I can tell by the voice there. You've all been gathered here to form oh. my evil cabinet. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, hey, 911, we've got a burning guy down below. What's, oh, what's my address? Oh, it's 123 Evil Street. You know, you heard that right. See, I don't understand people that enjoy patting Siamese cats like that, or hairless cats. It would just feel like a ball sack. Like, you, ha you have a pet ball sack that you're patting currently. It Where's the fur? Farbissina, founder of the militant wing of- Jeez, scary. <laughs> Who is that? Korean ex-wrestler, evil handyman extraordinaire. Yeah, he would fuck me up in a club. I'd go I wouldn't go near that man. <laughs> Especially because he could get angry at me, throw his shoe at my head, and I'm decapitated. Patty O'Brien, ex-Irish assassin. That guy just looks like one of Moon Knight's alternate personalities. He wouldn't be too bad. They're always after me, lucky charms. <laughs> Am I missing a joke here? They are after me, lucky charms. Hey, leprechaun man, leprechaun man. Oh, it's funny because he's Irish and Irish are leprechauns. Okay. I'm oh, bloody trying to find the rainbow, but I keep tripping over me gold. To my number two man. His name... Number two. For 30 years, number two has run Virtual Call, the legitimate face of my evil empire. 
Yeah, that's a James Bond villain right there. Virtucon has grown by leaps and bounds. Virtucon? Is that just like VR Comic Con? We own cable companies in 38 states. We own a steel mill in Cleveland, oil refineries in Seattle, factory in Chicago that makes miniature models of factories. Delivery! The delivery is what's getting me. The way the characters are delivering the lines is fucking perfect. As you know, the royal family of Britain are the wealthiest landowners in the world. I mean, they're British. They don't spend money on their teeth. They spend it on everything else. <clears throat> what the fuck was that? What? You got a tasty pinky? Pinky. Tasty pinky finger? I developed a weather changing machine, that... which was in essence a The actor for Austin Powers as well? The speaking mannerisms and the face look the same. Theory. Dr. Evil is a clone of Austin Powers, but he had cancer and lost all his hair. A hefty ransom? Oh yeah, he's got a pinky finger fetish. Oh hell, let's just do it we always do. Hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. Yeah? Good. This feels like an SNL skit, and I hate it, but I also love it. One million dollars. Only a million? Are you kidding? Have you heard of inflation? Maybe ask for more than a million dollars. Yes, exactly. One hundred billion dollars. Well, that's better. That's... What are you doing? Oh my god, that is the funkiest aeroplane ever. When you see this jet of rocket, don't come a knocking, baby. Oh, that that man fucks. I don't know what he fucks, but he fucks. It might not be women, it might not be men, but that man fucks and he does it in that aeroplane. Sex? Yes, please. Oh, why is that something I would say? Am I Austin Powers? God, I hope not. Or I would write sex? When available. I've been frozen for 30 years. I've got to see if my bits and pieces are still working. Excuse me. My wedding tackle. My twig and berries. Hello, lad. I... Don't talk to it. Don't talk to your penis. What the fuck? Imagine the fear that would go through your head if it spoke back. Nobody ever thinks about that. I won't bite. Much? Hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, I have this dude's humor. He looks like an IT nerd in high school that would get bullied because he looks like me in high school essentially oh do i make you horny <laughs> there it is do i make you horny baby yeah do i no you do not i'm the opposite of horny unhorny oh i fell oh. over oh, oh i fell me. over again oh. i hate it when you fall over and you land inside someone's vagina He's a 10 year old on a bouncy castle. That's exactly what Austin Powers is. We should try to make you a son so that a part of you could live forever. Oh God, please tell me Dr. Evil doesn't have a son. Made your son. No! Oh, it's Seth Green. What? From Scooby-Doo? I'm your father. And now you come back and just expect a relationship? He sucks. Seth Green sucks, man. <laughs> All aboard the Seth Green hate train. Let's go. Woo. Woo. You hate him too? Cool. Woo. That's a weird Fortnite emote. Well, don't look at me like I'm freaking Frankenstein. Give your father a hug. He wants to be Dr. Not-So-Evil. Do you understand? Which side of the bed do you want? You're sleeping on the sofa, Mr. Powers. With me, I hope! Shall we shag now, or shall we shag later? Oh my god, dude, shut up! <laughs> Think about something else other than your dick! I'd like to give my undercarriage a bit of a how's your father. I'd punch him in the face. I'm just trying to get a rise out of you, that's all, for shits and giggles! I wasn't being racist, I was just making you laugh! God blimey! Nerd alert! Ch bro, look in the fucking mirror. This man is hilarious, right? I am loving this guy, but I would punch him in the face if I spent more than 10 minutes with him. How did this get in here? Somebody's playing a prank on me. That's a different sort of weapon. Hey, there you are! Well, hi, do I know you? No, but that's where you are, you're there. <laughs> Oh my god, that reminds me! When I was in America, a dude came up to me with a pamphlet. I had a pen on me, I just signed it and gave it back to him and he looked at me so weird. <laughs>
<laughs> you want to know how you know that dude's evil? He's got an eye patch on. That means evil. If you see a guy walking around with an eye patch on, you have my permission to shoot them. That is not legal advice. Do not do that. Oh, what? That's a sick eye patch. I like to live dangerously. I'm going to stab myself in the eye. I also like to live dangerously. In me mother's basement. Allow myself to introduce myself. And this is my wife, Oprah. Winfrey? My name is number two. That's not a name. That's a number. Her name is Alata. Alata Vagina. What? Vagina? Come again. A lot of vagina. Oh, I bet. Sound like you said your name was a lot of, uh... My name's Anita Dick? Uh, no, that's my name. Also, Dr. Evil, listen up, mate. This is a cat that... This is a cat, yes. But this is a cat with hair. And if I were to sell him, I would sell him for... One dollar! <laughs> one crazy get-up you got there, fella. Yeah, hey, thank you. Are you in the show? Uh, no, actually, I'm English. Farting competition? Uh oh. It's Thomas Shelby! Turn around! Don't force it, get a blow at your O-ring! Drop a lung! Just a really rough night at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Grab a hold of something, bite your lip, and give it hell! Come on! Now that's how you get a hemorrhoid, don't listen to that man's advice. Hey, that, that sounds pretty nasty. How about a courtesy flush over there? A courtesy flush? I've never heard someone say that before. Jesus Christ, boy! What did you eat? It's a comedy. Not to negotiate with terrorists. Really? Does this man look like a terrorist to you? You know what he looks like? Gru from Despicable Me. That's clever censorship. <laughs> <laughs> that's really well done. I, it weirdly makes me want to see his penis, and that's how well it's hidden. It makes me want to look at it. He's handsome, witty. Why am I trying to look at Austin Powers' penis? I, I don't really need to see that. Let me just say this. Austin was... <laughs> that is genius! I actually love how much effort they've put into... <laughs> okay, fuck off. Fuck off. That's brilliant. God, that binoculars overlay hurts my brain. It's Dr. Evil's cat. How can you tell? I never forget a pussy. Cat. <laughs> or pussy. <laughs> what is this? Speaking of pussy, can I see your pussy cat? <laughs> That's it. Thank God he took the lens at the front off, otherwise he wouldn't have knocked her out. I'll take a picture. <laughs> Sorry, love. Is that pussy for me? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bert Bacharach. What? The world needs now. This has to be an SNL skit, right? This is an SNL skit in movie length form. That's kind of cute though, honestly. That's a great date idea. As long as you're okay with getting high second hand. Yeah, that's definitely what it feels like when you get that high, though. Oh, do people even play Twister anymore, or is that a dead game? I haven't heard of people playing Twister in years. The only Twister I'm actually familiar with is like a chicken Twister from KFC. That's all I eat now. The Escalator. <laughs> this guy is me, and it makes me so upset. Perfectly good canoe. I'd be careful with that one because you're gonna get a water damaged couch. You in a nutshell. No, this is me in a nutshell. Help, I'm in a nutshell. Oh my God, I've made that joke. This bloody great big nutshell, what sort of shell has- Fuck, I'm him, I'm him. You're smash. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Well, Lava, you're about to be smashed. I can't, darling. Why not? Because you're drunk, it's not right. Oh, at least he has morals. Thank you, Austin. If there was one other cat in this world that could have loved her and treated her as well as your dad, that train has sailed. Vanessa? You're gonna have to make that speech again tomorrow, dude, because she fell asleep a quarter of the way in. You've got mail. Ah, the layout hurts my brain. Project Vulcan. I'll need you to go to a lot of vaginas penthouse immediately. Not a problem. Let me pack some rubber. <clears throat> oh my god. A lot of vaginas. 
Shut up! Yes, yes, okay, great. How many cameras does this man have? He has like a long one, a time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, penis joke, penis joke. You seem surprised to see me, Miss Fachina. <laughs> Fanish Mella. <laughs> Fanish Mella. How did you know? I didn't, baby. You just told me. Let me slip into something more comfortable. Oh, behave. I, I don't think she's slipping into like lingerie or anything, man. I think she's gonna come out in like weapons. I don't know. This dude is horny all the time. How is this man not constantly masturbating? Yeah, she's gonna be good at karate or something, I promise. It'll be, ah, oh, you wanna have sex with me? No, she's gonna try and kill you. You're gonna get killed by a lot of vagina. <laughs> What is this, man? What is this fucking movie? And why haven't I watched it earlier? Jesus Christ, those were some floating titties. Oh, I'm very distracted by those. They look like beach balls. I'm about to tell myself to behave, honestly. May I wash you? Oh, groovy, baby. Typically, you say yes. You don't go, oh, groovy, baby. Look, Ray, watch this. I'm Austin Powers, Ray. Look at this. I used to have glasses that were like that too, actually. Don't drink that. How do you feel, Mr. Cunningham? You should never drink at a lot of vaginas. It's a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be people in this world that just fucking hate this guy. <laughs> There has to be. I'm not one of them. I'm enjoying him a lot, but I can definitely see there would be people that just hate this dude. <laughs> yeah, that's fun, all right. Ew, 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 ew. The only thing worse than a foot is a wet foot. I have created the ultimate weapon to defeat Austin Powers. Is it a fucking rehypnol? Are we going to drug him so he's not so fucking energetic all the time? Bring in the fan Oh yeah, that will work. See, that hairstyle just makes it look like they have giant, like, brains. Kill these women. How? Charisma? Charm? Are you ready Obviously, to? oh shit. That's the coolest bra ever! If you're out of breath, don't worry, I can blow on them. Oh my... I meant like... I, I meant... Like that. Oh, okay. Where does the ammo go in those? Uh, actually, I don't want to know. Keep that to yourself. We're going to outfit you with this. It's a geosynchronous positioning device. A what? A, a, a what is that? Very shagadelic. But shagadelic. <laughs> there have been fabulous advances in the field of dentistry. What do you mean? Yeah, don't talk to that man about dentistry. It will upset him. Only two things scare me. And one is nuclear war. The second? What's the other thing that scares you? Carnies. What? Circus folk. <laughs> I can understand that, actually. They will ring you for all your worth through a shitty little duck shooting game. That's rigged, by the way. Those games are a joke. I thought perhaps we could disguise ourselves as tourists and do some on-site reconnaissance. That could work. You've got to underdress a little bit, though, because Austin Powers will stick out like a sore thumb. This is my mother, Mrs. Exposition. How do you do? This woman. Oh! You socked her in the head! That's not your mother, it's a man, baby! Uh, dude, this isn't Scooby-Doo. That's not a mask. What? Austin, have you gone mad? No. I just watched a lot of Scooby-Doo when I was younger. Well, I thought she was a man. You're talking about my mother! She is rather mannish. <laughs> no offense, but if that is a woman, it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick. <laughs> Hey, Peter Parker. You got something for me? I had to beat an old lady with a stick. I hate the little, like, cutaways into him, like, dancing or whatever. I actually hate that. Give in to the beauty of your feelings and say the words. Carrie Fisher? Oh my god, hello! It's always a good surprise when Carrie Fisher pops up in a movie. Okay, group. We have oh, I thought that was Channing Tatum, but he was a bit too fat to be Channing Tatum. If Channing Tatum was fat, he would be called Chafing Tatum. Oh, that's... Oops. Doctor. Evil. 
Well, you've come to the right place, man. Let's get rid of the evil. So, Scott, why don't we start with what brings you here with us today? I'm a shit actor and I don't know what roles I can get. I was partially frozen his whole life. That is beautiful. I love her. I love Gary Fisher. Who's gonna take over the world when I die? The government, man! What do you want to do, Scott? I don't know. I was thinking I like animals. I got the perfect franchise for you, man. It's pretty obvious what it is. They, they, they worked hard to figure it out, and it wasn't gender-specific. It wasn't a boy's cartoon or a girl's cartoon or any of those things. It was a talking dog. I really think he wants to kill me. I really am trying to kill him, but so far unsuccessfully. Yeah, it's always good to admit that you've tried killing your son. That's a great admission. Let's hear about your childhood. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Please. Oh, God. I don't want to hear about this man's childhood. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he would drink, he would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. What? Oh shit, now I owe your dad royalties because I used a question mark. There really is nothing like a shorn scrotum. He's got a point. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I can't shake off this suspicious feeling about that Italian secretary. Jealous. I'm sorry. You're right to be suspicious. I shagged her. What? I shagged her rotten, baby, yeah. But she was repellent. Saucer of milk, table two. Ew! What, did you use protection? I had my nine millimeter automatic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's wrong protection! He had sex with a lot of vagina's vagina, and that hurts my brain. I wouldn't because I'm not like that. Yeah, because you don't have vagina in your name. You're everything to me. Welcome to the 90s. You're going to be very lonely. Ouch. Hope you enjoy the 20,000s. Oh, that was... What are they called? What are the zero zeros called? What are the 2000s called? The 2000s, pronounced 2000s, shortened to the O and known as the aughts or noughties. Noughties. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because I was a kid then, so it makes sense it was called the noughties. Dennis Joplin. Deceased. Mama Cat. Deceased. Oh, that's sad. He's crossing off his list of people he knew that are all dead. That's really upsetting. Who was alive in the 1960s? Fred Flintstone? What's the point in that sh- Oh. What? what is the point in that? You know, I sometimes forget you've missed out on the last 30 years. Realistically, Austin Powers is like degenerate Captain America. He's frozen for 30 years, he comes back, he tries to learn about everything, all his friends are dead. He really is just- Degenerate Captain America, who likes to fuck. Welcome to Virtucon. Do you think she's prettier than me? Oh my god. Okay. That's a bit... That wouldn't fly today. You're shagadelic, baby. You're switched on. You're smashing. Dude, if you want to be in disguise, you got to get rid of the British accent, though. It's Bolton. We've got a problem. It was the problem cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the issue? I remember reading somewhere some dude actually died by being crushed by one of those. That would have to be the most painful death. Move! Move! Careful, Austin! No! No, 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 no! Oh. Oh shit, you've got heaps of time. Move! What are you doing? Is that Nicolas Cage? That looks like Nick Cage. Let's go! That's eerie that I just spoke about some dude actually dying like that. I don't like that I said that before. All right, I'm kind of curious. Where can I buy one of those boob bra guns? Welcome to my underground lair. It's definitely You're underground. Just in time. Enjoy. That was not him. Oh my god. That. <laughs> That is not him. That's a stand-in. That looks like a circumcised penis. The world's most powerful subterranean drill. Does that make you horny? No. Not at the moment. I'm sure there's some drill enthusiast out there that gets horny looking at drills, but not me. Every volcano on Earth. Willy Rock. Ah, uh, now I understand why he's called Dr. Evil. Because he's doing evil things. Let's check out three boobs. <laughs> A Beavis and Butthead reference? What the fuck? Need TP for my bunghole. Scott! The punk music being cut off, dude. Shut up, Dad! I want to listen. I want to be evil. And we're like, make me. That's cool. Maybe try killing your son again. Just cause. 
No, let him press it. I'm going to place him in an easily escapable situation involving an overly elaborate and exotic death. Cool. All right, let's begin. Do you really expect them to pay? I expect them to die. So evil. Release the sharks. Sharks? The sharks have laser beams attached to their heads. Okay, this is going to be sick. Sharks with lasers on their heads? Yes, sign me up. It's about the sharks. When you were frozen, they were put on the endangered species list. We tried to get some, but it would have taken months to clear up the red tape. <laughs> That is so smart. So is it just an empty pool of water? There's no sharks in it? What do we have? Sea bass. What? They are mutated sea bass. Sea bears. Ah, oh, sea bear. Can you do gummy bears? Close the tank! What's with Dr. Evil's facial expressions, man? You just don't get it, do you? You don't. He's going to press the button. All I'm saying... They're gonna get a- Shut up! We- We- Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, press the button. Press it. I plan to soil myself. Then I'm going to regroup and come up with a new plan. Great step one. What's that smell? I get it. I have bad teeth. Not the only one that said it. Gino chop! Shot! There wouldn't have been that much toothpaste in that thing, though. Oh! oh. Oh, so the sea beasts are bad. Not a good time to lose one's head. Oh, indeed. Ah, uh, come on, Austin. Don't, don't get ahead of yourself. It's a shame he wasn't more headstrong. Okay. Vanessa, whatever happens... I'm always horny. Do you want me to be a one-woman man? Well, that's just groovy, baby. I hate the way he talks. I hate the little, like, groovy baby. That is why I'd punch him in the face after ten minutes. <laughs> I'm surprised that man didn't stand under the ladder and look up her dress. Come on. <laughs> Why is it slapstick stupid humor like that that I always love? You could have had him doing that for 10 minutes and I would have pissed myself for the whole 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. Accompanied with guards? That's a very impressive warhead. That's always what I do with like automatic doors is I'll pretend I'm Darth Vader. I just open them with the force. I can't be the only one. I'm sure you guys have probably done that. Hello, Mr. Powers. Hello, Mr. Powers. Yeah, I'm being shot, but it's absolutely worth it. I have to save the world. Well, where'd that one come from? That's a lot of vaginas. I, I put some lube on it first before you push that in. What is he doing? No! No! I've got to get Dr. Evil! Dr. Evil will be fine, okay? Let's focus on what's currently happening because it is shagadelic. Margaret Thatcher naked on a cold day! That one guy just discovered he had a weird ass kink about Margaret Thatcher just then. You can't resist us, Mr. Powers. I think you can't resist me. Oh, oh my god, they're getting a short circuit. Is Austin Powers. Oh, yuck! Cover that up! Him dancing and stuff, is that gonna short circuit the women? Good shot! Holy shit! Oh my god, get this man an Avengers contract right now. If he's able to throw cigarettes into people's mouths like that from afar, he deserves a spot. Oh. I feel like I'm about to short circuit, actually. This is fucking stupid. The power the British has over everyone else is unreal. Ah, uh, it, it's not what it seems. <laughs> Get dressed. 
Smashing baby. Shut up. <laughs> Stop with your stupid catchphrases. Oh, James Bond! Six. Five. Throw a cigarette at it. No! Or you could actually press the button. Was that a fucking leprechaun guy there? He had a leprechaun hat on. Well done, Mr. Powers. We're not so different, you and I. They look the same. Are they the same actor? It has to be. He's got like the same eyebrow. F yeah, it is. That's the same eyebrow formation on his left eye. I'm going with the clone theory that they're a clone. It's freedom, baby. Yeah. Face it. Freedom failed. No, man. Freedom didn't fail. I'm just oozing charisma, my guy. All right, Baldy. Shut your cake hole. Come on, let's go on your bike. I don't have a bike. It seems the tables have turned. Oh, how the turns have tabled. It seems the tables have turned again, Dr. Evil. How many more times are we going to flip these tables? I wish I was never artificially created in a lab. Oh, Scott, that hurts. <laughs> That's the funniest thing Seth Green has ever said. Your timing is impeccable. Go ahead, take Mr. Powers away. Oh my god, the fembot in the suitcase. I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it. Silence number two. No. I've had enough of you pushing me around. Uh-oh. Unstable man with a gun is a big problem. Right, I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, dickhead. Why would you sit down in that chair when you know there's buttons that... <laughs> That's dumb. Oh, is he getting in a cry chamber again? Oh my god. I know there's a sequel. Is that like 30 years later? No, <laughs> he's in a cryo chamber again? Does that mean Austin Powers is going to have to get in one himself? Oh my god, that would be amazing if the sequel is one that like takes place 10 years later after it. <laughs> Please! I would actually love that. The movie just ends each time with them going into like cryogenic sleep. <laughs> ah! Oh, there you go. You put the stick into gear stick. Three months later. Oh, God. I love Ew, you. don't play with his and chest hair you. like that. Yuck. He's got good teeth. Yeah. I hope I'm not interrupting your honeymoon. <laughs> no, not at all, Basil. The censoring in this movie is brilliant. Props to whoever thought of this idea. That is great. Don't forget these. Oh, thanks. There you go. <laughs> so good. Nice rack. But who in the world gave us this drawing? Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. Milk? Yes, please. Quant Austin, Her Majesty the Queen informs me that you are to be knighted. Very shagadelic. Well, the best of luck to both. <laughs> That's one of the smartest things I've ever seen in a movie. So incredibly sexy. <laughs> I knew I had to have you. Right then and there. Well, actually, I couldn't stop staring at your teeth. Yeah. Yeah, that would definitely deflate me as well. Smashing idea, man. Yeah. Oh, the. Uh oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lump there, you idiot. Who throws a shoe? <laughs> that is the greatest payoff ever! I honestly thought he had some kind of special shoe that decapitated people, but it's just a shoe! <laughs> Penis pump? Why? Use it! <laughs> Through pants? It doesn't work like that! I Don't ask me how I know, I just know it doesn't work that way. It, when in doubt, just smack someone over the head with wine. That looks just like Uranus. Austin. <laughs> it's a little bit wider than that. Yeah, what is that? I'm gonna get you, Austin Powers. It's freaking freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. Oh, no! <laughs> I love that. That was amazing. That was groovy, baby. Okay, so that was Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. There you go. Otherwise known as, if you look like a dork, you can save the world. 
And also, don't put your cat in a freezer. Uh, in all honesty, I thought I was going to go into that and hating it. And thinking that it was like dated and the jokes didn't hold up or anything. That holds up surprisingly well. That was really, really good. <laughs> I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Even not having watched like older spy movies or anything, I got the gist of end of the world, one dude saves it. That was great. I feel like today we have movies like The Kingsman that do that sort of thing. But... Austin Powers, I believe, may have done it first. I don't know. I I haven't watched a lot of old movies, believe me. Part of me wishes that I had watched that movie when I was a bit younger, but I am so thankful that I watched that today. It was just a whim. I was just like, what do I feel like watching? And then on my letterbox, I have a watch list. And I was like, I might watch Austin Powers. And might, I did. I really like that. <laughs> I'm so happy there's like two sequels to this, I think. I really like the idea of like going into cryogenic sleep and then they keep meeting each other. That would be so funny throughout the years. I'm actually going to give Austin Powers a solid four and a half out of five. That is absolutely a rewatch movie. There are jokes in there that I would have missed because maybe I was talking or something, but that was so funny. There are so many gags in that that hold up really well. And honestly, I'm a little bit like Austin Powers, so I can't give the movie a bad rating. I make jokes like that. I make stupid jokes like... What's my sex? Uh, I don't know. Saturday? Like, I make stupid jokes like that all the time. So I really, really, really relate to that movie. I don't want to relate to the guy, though. <laughs> So that's where I'm going to leave the video for today. Thank you so much for watching it. If you did, please leave a big like or a little like, depending on your thumb size. Check me out on Patreon if you want to see videos like this a whole day early and support me or make a movie request or whatever. Leave me a comment down below, actually. How do you feel about Austin Powers? Do you hate him? Or do you like him? I can imagine some people find him absolutely intolerable. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I actually have to go. Hello? All right. Going to see the world grew back. Ah, oh, the cringe. Oh, my God. I've never made myself cringe that much in my life.